everybody. Um, about to go hit up Carter's and um, Target. Not sure about Children's Place. Maybe um, we'll check out Ross too. Uh, decided to bring Ryan along. It is kind of cold and rainy out, so I'm going to tuck her in with her blanket. I packed her. I have her stroller already in the car. Really not sure if I'm going to use it or not. Um, a lot of the stores in that area are small. As in physically small, but they still try to cram all the stuff in that a bigger store would have. That's one thing that I don't get about retail. Because really, your children's clothing store, you should be able to at least fit a stroller with a car, or like a travel system, a stroller, whatever. It's a children's store. You're going to have kids in there that are going to be in car, or strollers. And also, if you can't get a stroller through there, how do people with wheelchairs get through? I mean, that... That has always been kind of an issue for me because, you know, I used to have, uh, for my reels, I had a side-by-side -side stroller and the description of the stroller was if a wheelchair can fit through, a standard wheelchair can fit through something, this stroller is two inches thinner than a standard wheelchair. I had multiple places that I had issues with that stroller getting through because it, how wide it was. And if it's two inches smaller than a wheelchair, how do they get through? Um, but enough of that. I got Ryan. I tucked her in quick. She's in this cute um, bagosh, Oshkosh, bagosh, um, one-piece romper got a little like, elephant no bear that's a button down one I thought that was really cute on her it's size three months and it actually fit her quite well so I don't know if today when I'm out I might look at a few three month size things it seems like if it's a small three months it'll fit her if I get three month stuff it'll probably shrink I can shrink it up because some of the preemie stuff that I've bought for her Unless it's like a, or not preemie, newborn. Unless it's a big newborn size, it's actually starting to fit, feel a little small for her, in my opinion. And then I did try the newbie pacifier on her. I really like this one. I might see if I can find the other colors in it. I got the boyish pack, which is red and blue. I believe there's a pink and purple pack, or pink and green. I don't remember what, I've seen the other pack. I looked at it, put it down, but I, I like how this one looks in her mouth as opposed to the soothy or um, gumdrop. Um, but I've got her tucked in nicely. Um, I'm going to definitely be using this canopy today since it's rainy out. Um, I do have the thicker car seat canopy. I just personally, I know some people love that thing. I don't. It just is really thick to me and it seems like a baby could breathe in it. I had one for when my daughter was a baby and I ended up taking it off because even in the like spring and fall, like, she would just be in the car seat with a thin, not even this thick, and this is kind of that soft, fleecy material. It would be like a thin blanket, um, almost like a muslin blanket or receiving blanket, and she would sweat. Take it off, and she was fine. So, I, it just, it's, it seems like it doesn't breathe well to me. So, got her tucked in. For sure I know we're going to do Carter's because they have a sale and I have a coupon that got emailed to me. I'm probably going to skip Children's Place today. There's nothing that I can think of that wowed me even not on the clearance rack there. Um, I'm going to check out the Target in that area, the bigger Target. And I will probably go over to Five Below and Ross. Um, not sure how much filming I'm going to do in the stores, 
it's pretty much going to depend on how loud it is in the store and whatnot. I have yet to figure out how to edit videos. I've just been using YouTube's editor. Um, I know I need to get my other computer up and running and that one has iVideo on it and I think it has a better editor. But um, I, I have yet to figure out how to add music to a video in the middle of the video. Um, I think I figured it out for one of them. For a video I posted last night, I'm not 100% sure. But um, she's going to come with... Oh, and there was another thing that I was going to talk about. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this tomorrow. Or if I'm going to do it on Monday. But there will be a Hatchimal unboxing. Um, this is the... What is this one? I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's the Dragon... Not Dragon. It is the Unicorn Owl. I don't remember exactly what its name is. It's the Toys R Us exclusive. Um... I think this one is cute, super cute. This one's going to be mine. Um, my daughter already got one from her Nana for her birthday. And my son will be getting one for Christmas. Uh, actually, we had bought one for each of the kids. And then Nana surprised my daughter with hers for her birthday. And she plays with it, but she's pretty sure if she had two, she wouldn't play with them. And three in the house is just enough. So... I'll probably get jumped on for saying this. Um, I'm going to sell my extra one. No, I'm not selling it on YouTube. I will be probably putting it on eBay. And I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to, oh, oh, sell it to me for this. I, I'm going to put it on eBay and let it do what it's going to do. Um, because we bought each of our kids the... Is it a, called a birdle? I think it's supposed to be a bird turtle. Um, that one's the Walmart exclusive. We got them the day that they came out. And we got this one a few days later. Um, and for those of you that don't know what they are, this is the It toy for Christmas this year for kids. Um, and it's the first time my kids have actually asked for an It toy for Christmas. And so we got them each one. And I was initially thinking of giving this one to my daughter, but the only problem is this one comes with a bonus, a crystal nest. Okay, people are probably saying, yeah, what's the big deal? When you have two kids, it's a huge deal that one of them gets the bonus, the other one doesn't. And then they're both going to fight over who gets to use it. So this one's going to be mommy's. So... Um, I will do an unboxing of this Hatchimal, and um, my daughter's Hatchimal is a toddler, I believe, right now. Can't remember if it's a toddler or a child. I know that it's past the baby stage. Um, but she likes to play with it, and she'll go put it on the floor, and the two of them will dance together for min for at least 20 minutes, which is hysterical. But. Yeah, it's, these things are actually kind of neat. Um, when my daughter got hers from Nanny, we went out to Round Rob, excuse me, Red Robins. My mom always called it Round Robins. Um, we went out to Red Robins for supper that night with Nanny, and the waitress was very disappointed because all through supper, my daughter was trying to get that, the stinking egg to hatch, and her egg would not hatch. And the waiter was disappointed that it did not hatch on his watch. He wanted to see what was in the egg, too. So it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, people have asked what they are. They're kind of uh, Tamagotchi meets Furby. They're, they're cuter than Furbies. Like, they're different ones. There's um, this uh, Unicorn Owl. That's the Toys R Us exclusive. There's, I think it's a Parakeet. Barakeet, that's kind of a bear parakeet. 
that is a Target exclusive. And then the Birdle, that is a Bird Turtle, is the Walmart exclusive. And these are pretty much turning into Cabbage Patch Kids, Tickle Me Elmo, like any other thing that you can think of that was the It toy and we're not even to Black Friday yet. But yeah, they just came out. This will be an unboxing, um, I want to say Monday. That I am leaning towards Monday for this one. Um, my kids don't have school on Friday, and I know if I try to do an unboxing of this and the hatching of it, they will be all over it, they will be loud, they will be fighting over it. So, I'm going to try to do it when they're not home. But Ryan and I are going to go get loaded and off to Carter's and Target. So, we're at Target. Ryan, I've got my other camera on, just sitting on her. She's still sleeping. Oh, that's a bigger target. These are the honest stickers I love. But I really don't need that. Well, they're a size 5, but I don't need a huge box of them either. I really like these space ones. Um, Super cute. But we're at the bigger target. I was gonna go to Carter's first, but they were still closed. I don't open till 9 30. But here's the bath stuff. I really wish I would have came here for baby powder. No, I got an extra one. Hold on, And there's the sippy cups. Love these, but we got rid of pretty much all their cups. She doesn't need them anymore. Baby yeah, stuff. Our toys. And they're pretty slim pickings for Bassies. I keep debating about these ones though and then modifying them. I have not seen these gumdrops before. They're cute, but they're the wrong nickel. Dr. Brown's giraffe or zebra. Let's get that kind of We have the baby head tricycle. We should have a uh, bar on the front. But I know they did it just to make it smaller um, so I can fold it. And that's how small it folds up. I like that idea. I like how small it gets, but... I wish I had like a car seat adapter and I'm not seeing even where it shows you could purchase one. I 
most of the other ones. One of these ones. I love, love, love this. Some pink overalls. This one too loves me. The dress. But I haven't gone to Carver's yet, so I'm gonna wait. Love this as well, except for the long side. Yeah, it's just one year. To go to Curtis first. Um, if I don't find anything, I might come back. I love this. It's so cute in there. Cat and Jack stuff on clearance. It's a cute little Cat and Jack cardigan. Pretty much everything's the same as before. So yes, we do the dreaded shelf on the elf. Um, we actually have a boy and a girl elf. As well as the reindeer, um, our boy is Ted, the girl is Angel, and I think they named the reindeer Sven. I want to say, no, Olaf. I'm sure they have some really cute clothes for them. I want to get that for her. Hoping to find the football jersey, because we're not a big soccer family. They've got these really cute reindeer. Reindeer actually closed this year. Those are so cute. Don't forget the syrup. And then the roll I so love that. And then this year they also have a St. Bernard. Um, I don't think the St. Bernard's going to join our family this year. Might change later. But we're our, our two elves got married last year. So we were hoping to add a baby this year, but I'm not sure. The girl loves my daughters, the boy loves my son. Reindeer's kind of the family, so. And then they both each have one of the little plushies too. I'm so excited to see that Target has already put out the Christmas Shopkins. And this year you can actually see what you're getting. So I'm not buying like a billion of these and having a bunch of extras. My daughter loves Shopkins. And then I already got two in my basket and some Paw Patrol things for my son. But super excited to find those. She'll be happy when she comes home from school today. So we are done with Target. We're gonna go to Carter's next. There's Ryan still sleeping. Didn't really find much at Target. Just got for one Halloween I said it was still five bucks. The manager was kind of an idiot. And um, it was cute, so I got it anyways. I got um, the Shopkins for my daughter, um, some dollar Christmas socks for both kids, they love those things, and then some Paw Patrol bath toys for my son, and then one Santa gift for my son as well, but overall it wasn't much new at this Target, I was hoping they'd have more Halloween clearance and they did not. So we are turning the corner from Target, and Carter's is right around the corner. So we're done with Carter's and Target. Um, back at the car. 
Um, she did get a couple things. Um, at Target I got more stuff for my son and daughter. Um, next we are going to head over to Five Below and maybe Ross's. Um, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, I haven't been feeling the best lately. So, I was feeling pretty good this morning when I decided to go and as time's gone on, I'm starting to feel not the best again, so I had to make a potty break at Bed Bath & Beyond and grabbed a bottle of water while I was there. But, hopefully this will pass over soon. Monday I was feeling horrible. Yesterday I felt pretty good and I considered going out and doing all this yesterday, but I was waiting for a payment from eBay. But Carter's thought they were having a better sale than they did. Um, there was a 25% off. Um, guess I'm not going to. Um, Target. The Carter's, excuse me. There's a 25% off your purchase at Carter's coupon that came in my email yesterday. And I knew that it excluded doorbuster stuff. Not a problem. Problem is, pretty much 90% of the store was either clearance or doorbuster. So... It wasn't, I, I got her a couple things. It wasn't the best of deals. I mean, they did have 25% off the clearance price, but a lot of their clearance stuff was still like $25. There was a really cute dress that I found that I liked for her, but it was still $25. And then I noticed that the coupon, not only did it exclude doorbuster stuff this time, it also excluded clearance. It's usually they don't. It's usually one or the other. So... I didn't find too many incredible deals. I was looking for Christmas pajamas for my kids. So they always get, um, on Christmas Eve, our Elf on the Shelf brings them each a small present, a pair of pajamas, and a movie to watch that night. Um, as a goodbye gift from them. So I was looking for pajamas there. But my kids' sizes, they were either, they, most of the pajamas were doorbuster. And with the doorbuster price, they were still like $17. But I looked at pajamas at Target, and they were $12. So, and the one, like I've said in past videos, Carter's really hasn't wowed me lately. I am not overly impressed. Right, I'm trying to fold up the stroller. Um, I haven't been overly impressed with Carter's lately. Uh, just like everything. It's like quality's gone down. Prices have gone up. And I've heard other people say it. It feels like Carter's is turning into the same stuff just like the monkeys trying to get her in here um monkeys they started doing the monkeys clicked in on the base um the monkey stuff they started doing that when my son around this time my son was born seriously that monkey face on everything has not changed and over six years and they just keep putting the same monkeys on this year instead of pink we're gonna put it on purple flowers or it's just it's becoming way too repetitive I mean I think Carter's needs to um, I don't know if they need to get a new design team or what's going on with them lately but it's just it's like the same old, same old, same old. Yes, this year they have the cute owls, which owls seem to be fashionable this year for babies and kids, but other than that, I'm just, I'm bored with this stuff. And honestly, that's why I've been buying a lot of the Zutano brand, 
is it's bright colors, it's fun, it's fresh, it's unique. It's not the same thing that I've seen for the last six years at, I mean, Carter's now, they have their Walmart brand, their Target brand, and it's all pretty much the same. So, that's, I, I like I said, I did, there's my Carter's bag. Um, I did get some stuff at Carter's. I got, grabbed a couple wish books for my kids to circle Christmas ideas. Although they're pretty much taken care of for big presents. I don't know, this year my husband and I were talking and I don't think we're going to go too overboard with them. I know we say it every year and then we usually end up doing it anyways. But, um, I really don't think we're going to go too overboard with it this year for Christmas. We have talked about starting to save up money to possibly take them to Disney next year. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of an idea we've been tossing around, but... Ryan is already in the car, in her car seat, she snapped in. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a trip to Five Below for sure. Something I need to pick up there. Hopefully they still have it. And then... Maybe Ross if I feel up to it. Um, but we will see you. I am not sure if I'm going to film at Five Below yet or not. But if I do go to Ross, I will.
So I just finished with Ross and Five Below. Um, got a few Christmas gifts at Five Below. Um, nothing too special. Showed, uh, I didn't film much in there. It was really loud and there was a bunch of people in there. And there really wasn't a whole lot in there that I needed. Um, I went there for um, the Nerf guns. My kids, like I had said in another video, are all about Nerf guns lately. Um, which they laugh and they're actually playing and not fighting while they're chasing each other with them. So it's a win in my book. So I bought them. I got one for my daughter for Christmas and um, with my husband gone, I told them both that daddy or when daddy gets home if they're good and listen we'll each get a prize so i got one for my son as a prize um and then i was starting to feel better while i was in there so i decided to go over to ross um oh, my hair is horrible it's a problem with curly hair when it's rainy it just gets poofy um went over to ross found some great deals um in the video, um, their music is so loud, so we couldn't really talk, just like Five Below and Carter's. Um, but, um, in the video you'll see these bottles, and they're two elephant bottles, they're really cute. And they're $1.99 for the two pack. Great deal, great deal for two bottles. I didn't need two bottles. I didn't need any bottles, even though I bought more. Um, but I bought them, um, or I found a pack that somebody had stolen one of the bottles. So I went up to customer service when I was checking out and I asked lady, I'm like, you know, I brought both packs up there. I'm like, they're both on clearance for $1.99. I only need the one bottle. I don't need the two pack. She's like, yeah, I can sell you the one for 99 cents. I'm like, okay, good, sold. Um, I am actually loving Ross lately. Um, there is another one that I might go to tomorrow after my daughter's dance class, cause, or before, maybe before, I'm not sure. Um, it's over by her dance class, so I'm not gonna go today. You can see Ryan in the back. Um, I will say, yes, it was a bad, um, silicone reborn mommy I did not take her into five below or Ross I just put some of the bags on top of her car seat to make it look like it was an empty car seat and I just went in there you know I didn't feel the best going into five below and five below was right next to Ross and then when I brought the stuff out from five below because I went there first there was a lady sitting in her car next to me I thought yeah that'll be strange all of a sudden pulling out a baby carrier and car seat and stroller and everything and going into Ross. So I didn't take her into Ross with me, although I was feeling better at that point. Um, although I will probably go home, grab a bite to eat and maybe lay down for a little bit before I have to go pick up my daughter. But that's it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm hoping to do more. If there's any videos you guys want to see or anything you want to know, just let me know. Um, I will take requests. Um, I, I'm trying... I'm trying to decide what to do. What do you want to see more of? Because so far all of it has been as outings, shoppings, and hauls, which... Um, I know like I want to do like the theme days like I know today is Wednesday 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 um, I can't remember what Thursday is but I know Monday is um, Disney Monday I am trying to find some Disney clothes for her so far the only stuff I found in like zero to three months are newborn I'm not very fond of so I looked on eBay and I bid on a few things so hopefully get something from one of those um, um, anything you guys want to see just let me know um, tomorrow after my daughter's doctor appointment I will probably go pick up or not go pick up um, do a bath video it's 
what I'm really thinking of doing tomorrow. Um, I have a baby bath that I just haven't done it and get her changed. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody has a good day. Bye for now.